Callie here is about to fess up and tell us who she has the hearts for. But to make sure she's made the right choice, here's a lovely Melanie with a little recap. You ready, Mel? Yes, I am. So, Callie, which of our boys will you be calling tonight? Is it Butler in the Buff number one? His motto is Guns Out, Buns Out, which you might get to see if he's not stuck in detention. <laughs> be perfect gentleman number two. He's a champion at deadlifts. Let's hope he's not a dead weight. <laughs> or will it be good luck Chuck number three? You could be naughty together, pop into a petrol station and grab his curly whirly. <laughs> Three magical muscle men. Callie, the decision is yours. <laughs> So, Callie, who's yeah. it going to be, then? It's going to be number one. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to meet and hopefully get romantically inclined with... <laughs> number one, that's Alexi from Essex. Wall back, please. <laughs> yeah. Alexi, oh. come over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Oh, he's stunning. Best choice, yeah, definitely. And what do you think of this lovely lady? Yeah, she's unreal. Yeah, unreal. Oh, right. I think this is a good match, don't you, folks? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But our mammy's boy here, Barry, is about to find out who his mum is choosing as his date. But before Anne makes a choice, here's a lovely Mel with a quick reminder. Go on, Mel. Well, Anne, which of our girls do you want to meet Barry tonight? Will it be singer-songwriter number one? She'll flatter you, but for the love of God, Barry, don't show her your wind turbine. <laughs> or will it be banana lover number two? She's very good at baking bread, but she's hoping to get a rise out of your son. <laughs> or is it busy bee number three? 30 seconds is all she needs to make it count. So, Barry, get your clock out and Anne start timing. <laughs> Three beautiful babes for Barry Ann, but you can only pick one. The decision is yours. Well, Anne, um, this is the moment of truth mm. now. So then, have you had a good think? I have. Yeah. I yeah. have. Who are you going to choose then as Barry's day? I'm going to go for number three. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please come in? Number three, and that's Cherry from Kent. Roll back, please. Here we go. It's like a family reunion, this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of them? Um... Oh, very good looking. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right, yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Our first activity was driving around Havana in a beautiful old Chevrolet. This is the business, isn't it? It's like going back in time, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So beautiful. Looking forward to maybe a few little drinks later on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. love a cocktail. I love a porn star. You're a porn star? I'm a porn star. With no, those, not with literally. The, <laughs> with those whippies, I'd say you do. <laughs> when I say whippies, <laughs> I mean I'm talking about uh, uh, female breasts. I like whippies. Mr. Whippies, <laughs> eh? I thought a whippy is an ice cream. Do these look like ice cream to you? I think Sherry, all her dreams came true being in the back seat with me. Why don't you throw in yourself at me later on? Don't be jumping on me. Jumping on you? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't jump on you. I wouldn't jump on you, unless you ask me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me? I don't know if Barry's trying to flirt, trying to pull me, or just trying to wind me up. I thought Barry was too in love with himself, too boisterous, too intense. I think you're a nice girl. You're, you're, you've got a big heart. Oh, and, uh, thank you. Yeah. If I was to describe Cherry to my mum, I'd describe <laughs> her as, firstly, a really good person with a really big heart, but even bigger whippies. Barry, 
I go to Dublin quite a lot and I've never heard the female anatomy described as whippies. Whippies, yeah. <laughs> Where did you get that from? What kind of word's that? It's myself and my mates use it. I think it's, uh, yeah, whippies. I think it's a good word, no? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> and in the back of the car, I think you got the impression that Cherry was falling for you. Nah, to be honest, I... I he see... thinks every woman nah, falls nah, for nah, him. Nah, 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 nah. He's got to him. You do. Stop being on the Jeremy Kyle show, this. I was actually, I was kind of playing along. I was trying to wind her up a little bit. Oh, was she? Yeah, and you didn't, oh. you didn't seem to raise an eyebrow. But look, I'm backing it. I don't think she can. Are you loyal? I don't know. I've never been in those situations, but. What, you've never been in a relationship? Um, I've never had like a proper girlfriend, no. You haven't? No. I think the fact Alexi hasn't had a girlfriend before did surprise me a little bit, but it did make me question what he's after here. Why? I don't know, I just feel like it's hard, like, temptation to resist. <gasps> Should I go out? <laughs> so you wouldn't be loyal? I reckon if I was in a relationship, I would be loyal, but I don't get yeah. myself in that situation. So would you still prefer <laughs> to be here or in Kavos with the lads? Maybe Kavos. <gasps> <laughs> That did make me feel like he is a little bit of a player. It wouldn't be right to leave South Africa without a little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't think Alexi's after a relationship. I do think he's after something else, but he's not going to get that, so <laughs> we'll have to leave it at that. But you liked this cocky confidence, as I you did, said, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And then he said he'd rather be in Cavos with the lads, and I kind of thought, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I'd rather be in South Africa, so <laughs> what I'm like. Yeah, I was shocked to hear you'd never had a girlfriend, were you? Yeah, definitely. Mm. I'm, like, proper young, though, so I don't think it's that that's surprising. How old are you now? 21. Oh, you're only a baby, aren't you? You see, this like... I thought you were 23. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he lied to you, love. He lied to you. I knew you'd find that, though. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, where did you want to be? Cavos? Where's that? Greece. I'm as bad as you with Africa. Party Island, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Greece, yeah. And was that the point of no return for you I'm when he said yeah. that? That was it. I think 21's the point of no return <laughs> as well. The little bird has told me this is not the end of the story, is it, really? <laughs> We're going to welcome back now onto the sofa <laughs> Mummy's boy, Barry. Barry, out you come. Oh, come on, Barry. <laughs> Get in the middle. Come on. That's it. <laughs> Have you got something to tell us all? Um, me and Barry started talking. Yeah. Um, we kind of just bumped into each other on the, in the corridor. I left her my number up in our changing room. Because <laughs> we were staying in the same travel lodge, and then we decided to go to London, and then... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, Alexi, what do you make of all this? I knew she wasn't innocent anyway. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the future all for the pair of you, then? I think she's... Uh, Absolute sweetheart. Uh, and what do you think of him? He's lovely. Oh. <laughs> Has the accent He's done lovely. it for you? I think it's the accent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting all a bit much for me, actually. I'm too old for all this carry-on. I really am. <laughs> were you messaging each other when you were in Africa? No, definitely not. No, I no. wouldn't do that. She was. <laughs> no chance. Oh, Alexi. What a lie! No, no, no. Yeah. no. This I'm poor a... lad takes this <laughs> girl on safari and you're carrying on behind her. <laughs> no, no. It, uh, nothing bad, nothing disrespectful or anything like that. Have you met his mother? Yeah. Oh, have you? My yeah. mother met her mother. <laughs> Did we is... had breakfast together. Hang on a minute. Where'd you been to have breakfast In together? In the travel lodge. Oh, please. <laughs> the glamour of it all. The glamour of it all. <laughs> Listen, give this lot a huge round of applause, please. Come on, let's see. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.